guys, welcome back to the channel. No, the headphones, the output on the, the channels, the, the channel, the, my set, the computer is not going very well today, so I'm just making sure we have audio today. So, so far, we're alright. Um, but today, we're talking back on the transfer after the good weekend of football, um, the weekend flag day at Celtic Park. Of course, Celtic won uh, four against Ross County, 4 2 at Celtic Park. It was an interesting game, first league. Uh, game under Brennan Rogers. Interesting to say the least. Um, There's a few cha a few things that come to mind, and I was talking to it about my dad today as well. That number one priority has got to be a goalkeeper. It's got to be. Look, listen, don't get me wrong. I love Joe Hart, but he's getting to that age. I'm. He's he's he's, he's just mistake. It's just a cost. It's cost. It's going to be costly. He might get away with it, and we well, nearly didn't at the weekend. Most of the time, you'll get away with it in Premiership games, but you'll certainly not get away with it in European football. We need a top co a, a goalkeeper in, um, someone who can play with the ball at their feet. Listen, we might not get Lovakovic, but somebody of that kind of level as such, if you get me. You know, we can pass it from the back. That has got to be our number of priority. But today, that is not what we're talking about. Um, we're going to talk about Carl Starfield. Obviously, he came on Saturday. It was Narofsky that started along CCV on Saturday, I thought he performed really well, to be honest, couldn't put a foot wrong. Um, I thought the game was Saturday, well, a wee recap, obviously I've seen the match day vlog, it was an okay game. It, concerns goalkeeper wise, yes, you the number one priority, which obviously, if, if Joe Hart's lost the back confidence, it'll probably spirit in the park. Obviously injury wise, Tony Dalson, um, he's just not up to speed, as simple as that. Uh, when Johnson's back, I imagine he'll go back in the team right away. Uh, a bad will be okay. It wasn't a big injury. He came off at the weekend, but it'll be fine for the weekend against Aberdeen, which I am <laughs> in a middle about because it's going to be a very tough game. Wait for Toddy, um, doing very well. Aberdeen obviously throughout the weekend, but still, it's only the first game of the season. Looked very well. They've invested well in a couple of players, so it will be a tough game. Of course, it will be, but um, it did help. Obviously, after Saturday, Saturday night, Rangers dropped points to Kilmarnock. The season is not over, but it's not a best of starts for Rangers. With three points ahead of them as such, but it'll come to September third. Who knows what will happen? Celtic could drop points. Rangers could drop more points. We don't know. But so far, for three points, got three points in the bag. Def uh, concern wise, also defensively, Joe Hart as well <coughs> in the set, the first cross county goal. I mean, no offence, he goes height, but he's not going to get there, is he? Do you know what I mean? The ball should be clear, and that Joe Hart should be going to get it. To be personally honest with you, um, to be quite honest but defence wise wasn't too good it uh, wasn't too happy about that but let's go into the main part of the video is Carl Starfelt um, as obviously Celtic have made two inquiries for two and a half so with Carl Starfelt's departure from the club nearing the Swedish defender set to join the Spanish side Celtic Vigo to spend two successful years at Celtic Park Celtic will also have CCV, Mirovsky, Stephen Welsh, Kobayashi and such as well to um, keep on it so a bit high. So like William Scales as well, so we tested in pre-season. Uh, still they got on their books, but the question obviously still remains. The latter, over the latter, obviously the threes, first team via uh, availability if you get to you know I mean. Obviously Rogers made it clear the weekend the club would re-enter the transfer market staff and moved on. It seems they're no wasting no time. Last night was reporting in Sweden a bid for IF, IF Ellsberg defender Gustav Lagerberg. If that's how you pronounce his name, I probably got that wrong. That seems like a um a goal but we have another name and thrown into the mix and it's one we've heard before and I've talked about it on the channel. Uh, Sky Sports Journal Sanity Josh tweeted on Tuesday morning saying Celtic have made two inquiries um, for centre backs as well to place Carl Starfield. The statement says from Anthony Josh that it's understood inquiries are made for Elspurs, Gustav Lager, Lagerbeck, Fitchmans and Vullendams, I, I, Xavier Mumbamba. Reports in Sweden suggest Celtic have fallen down the line of Lagerbeck. Last month it was uh, reported that Moon Yamba was high in the list of Celtic targets, so the report isn't a massive shock, and that was from the Daily Mail of the month, that thing. Um, the question obviously now seems to be when the, the Celtic sports lapse is whether the club are looking to bring in both, <coughs> or well, it's just one of the other coming days and weeks, obviously, should spell that out. Um, but aye, Carl Stelfoot oh, Stelf is look to be moving on, Brendan was also confirmed that at the weekend. Um, the deal hopefully it looks to go around about five million pounds, um, and Celtic Vigo will play that. I think the final final things that kind of been sorted out between Celtic and Celtic Vigo, but Celtic are wasting no time indeed to 
when Carl Stafford leaves, they're wasting no time to sit there and wait, you know, and see what happens, you know, they're not waiting. They're getting they're getting stuff done, do you know what I mean, which is really good um, to see. Um, and obviously, another thing I'd like to see at the club is maybe another striker, because the way Brian Rodgers is playing is certainly different from the way Andrew's playing, it's kind of like, do you know what I mean? Through, if you get what I mean, he saw the game. Um, and also my day, I try to play my Ada through the front as well, so, I mean, he's brilliant, but he can of cross for it, but he can definitely get the pace and his shots on him as well, so it's really interesting that, but I'm really liking that kind of way of Rodgers playing with Kyogo and that, imagine another striker which we could go into the market for, which I'd be like, oh, maybe play over there as well, we don't know, dang, had a really good game as well, but, um, yeah, um, interesting things uh, to come and happen few weeks time for Celtic transfers to come in will we see one what sent half will we see coming up maybe two that'd be a wee statement as well because obviously in the Roski for five to four uh, no three to four and a half million pounds so that, I think that'd be a really statement there for depth and obviously European football wise goalkeepers got to be the number one priority as well up there once we've got the centre half situation done we need to get a goalkeeper done that is an immediate job because we simply can't afford to have Joe Hart and Cole in Europe when it's going to cost us if we want to keep developing Europe, even in the Premiership against top top sides. Even if we play in the old firm games, it's still going to cost us. You know, can't afford uh, these because it'll cost league titles, it'll cost cup games, it'll cost trophies, cost it'll cost. <coughs> it comes at a cost. And I think we need to like, push a market for a goalkeeper. If it's not Levakovic, who will it be? Will we strain Levakovic and make a statement? I tend to that goalkeeper wise, it is a lot of money. If he does flop, we we're talking about the podcast last week, but it is worth it. It is proved that. But it's where Celtic can't afford the wages because Fenerbahce um, cannot afford the wages. It was a part of the deal done, but Levakovic was wanting top, top wages. Fenerbahce couldn't afford it, so they moved into our market, I think, for Kilo and Navas. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. But um, just to bring in latest, that is the day Celtic have made two inquiries and apparently last night, but it's not it's not happened. Apparently last night was a rumour that Celtic made a £3 million bid for um, Lager Bike, but... Um, but that one is certainly that one wasn't true. But this deal is certainly going further than the other deal, um, the other centre half we were talking about. Um, but Lagerbeek, um can play aerial play, skill to the ball at feet, which is me the ball playing centre half. He's sharp distribution ability. Last year's standout season on loan at Deg- Degerfors, and his past almost Elbow have been highly successful. The defence has maintained top tier quality this season. Largely due to Lagerbeek's contributions, he's probably a future national team prospect as well. He's featured a couple of times for the national team as well, Sweden Nationals. So, um, yeah, it looks all good things to come at Celtic in the next few times. So, in the next few weeks, so we should have a defender in. If Carl Stuff leaves in the next few days, we should have one in the door pretty soon after Carl Stuff exits the club. But all the best to Carl Stuff. <coughs> um, he's been a phenomenal player for two and a half, two years at the club uh, when I brought him in. You know, uh, the first game <laughs> was literally a couple of days after he came into the club, so we couldn't say anything about that. But he has certainly developed as a player alongside CGV. And I will miss him at the club. But um, I think for all the reasons he's left as well. I think his, his partners went to Sporting Lisbon, so he's a bit close at there, I think, as well. So I can't fault the guy if he's leaving. Do you know what I mean? He's done a bit brilliant job. Um, but yeah, best luck to him. But yeah, we should have some exciting news coming into the club in a few days' time. Maybe a couple of, um, maybe two centre-halves or just the one, but they are coming into the club and maybe a goalkeeper as well which will do the job if a striker comes as well that would be really pushing it but I'd be really happy but if we do get the centre half done and obviously the goalkeeper I'd be really really pleased with any the next few games and obviously the European campaign but thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel and I'll be back um, pretty soon on the channel probably for the match preview show and then the reaction of the Aberdeen game